Hey everybody, it is Bobo Mac here at Crisis in the Toyverse, and today we are going to be looking at another extreme dash set pop up. Now, this ain't your mama's pop up because we got something fun and unique. That's right, I'm gonna flip it over, da 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 da, and we're gonna be looking at the Deranged Alley 2.0. Pop up. This thing is a lot of fun. And if you missed out on the first pop up that was the Deranged Dally, you're not going to be disappointed by spending your hard earned money by picking up this bad boy. But enough of the chitter chatter, if you will. Let's get it on box. Let's see what's cooking inside and take it from there. All right, gang, I have everything unboxed here. Let's just go break down the panel pieces piece by piece. And then we'll move on from there and I'll show you some fun shots and some fun things you can do to make this new extreme dash sets pop up worth your hard earned money. All right, so our first pop up, as you can see, it is a garage door and it looks like we have truth, justice, and the speed force way. Rocking and rolling here. Great graffiti design. We got the brick layout, everything looking fun with that. Our next piece right here is a gated alleyway the world looking dark and desolate on the other side you got two buildings right there you got the gate up you got the trash can with the stinky trash you got another waste basket over there a little sign on it this is a very fun and cool design and the cool thing about each and every one of these pieces you can use them individually or you can build the bigger world which once again i'll be talking about here in a little bit our next piece we have is this doorway what lurks beyond the doorway well if you're really brave you can open it up like so if i can get the camera to work with me and get some light there we go you can open the doorway ah more pop-ups but this thing is cool now in the original release of this pop-up the doors did not open in anything like that you know these were new um and they hadn't really been used and experimented with by the toy community. People asked for some opening doors. The guys over at Extreme Sets found a way to make that happen, and I think it works great. They got new designs to differentiate it from the first version. It's just all around cool. But, hey, you don't have to take my word for it. But you should, because I'm being honest with you guys. Excuse me, I got the hiccups for some reason. As you can see, this cool design of this squid monster with bang. We got a Joker card. We got some graffiti lettering. We got a question mark box. And this piece by itself is just super cool. Then we break it down some more. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff here. We have another doorway with some more graffiti. And uh, if you fold it back, you can definitely get that door open and have some fun with that. Let me just try to do that on camera here. Well, you do it like that. It's already got a crease in it, so you can bend it nice and safely. And voila, that's pretty cool, if I say so myself. And then to our last panel, which is another dead end. It looks like nobody's getting out to safety on this one. This one's pretty cool, too. I definitely dig this. It gives you a sense of enclosure, if you will. And if you thought that was it, a no-no, my friends, because we also have a concrete floor panel with a sewer uh, top cover on it, which is very cool. These are definitely not needed, but it's very awesome that he decided to include them. And uh, we got this one right here. And our last piece right there. All these are really cool, really fun. You're going to have fun putting stuff together. But if you thought that was it, no, my friends. We have a column here that has some brick design with a little bit of graffiti with a tiger and whatnot. Looking very cool. And then we got another one right here with another design on it. Very cool. A laughing teeth mouthpiece. And some more lettering. I think it says, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, it says hello. And we got a bomb. Ah! Just kidding, everyone. So that does it for the unboxing. Let's go to the fun stuff, if you will. Let's look at the shots you can set up with this thing and take it from there. All right, gang, I am back. And as you can see, 
I've went ahead and done a setup. Now, at first glance, it doesn't look like anything's going on. But if you look at the top of your screen right now, you'll see a picture pot pop up, if you will, of a shot that I did take. I've already went ahead and utilized the pillar here. I've opened up the doors and I got a the dead end part of the alley all set up with all three floor panels. And if I just zoom in here... I think it looks pretty cool. Now, I could have changed the lighting and all that fun stuff, but I am trying to do a review, too. So, it's not meant to be super picture perfect right now. I just wanted to show you just one of the many examples of how to use this pop-up and how it could benefit your toy photography. Or, heck, even a display on a desk or something. I mean, there are lots of options available for that. But here's one example. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Let's set up a different way to set things up, and we'll take it from there. All right, gang, I am back, and as I've said, this is another setup you can use. What I've done here is apply the other doorway that you get from Extreme Dash Sets Deranged Alley 2.0 pop-up. And I've went ahead and put the dead end piece on the other side. And if you look directly through, what you'll see, and I'll show that more in depth in a moment, is actually the first building that came out last year, I believe it was. So this is just another cool example. As you can see with the shot that's about to show up on your screen... You really have lots of fun with this. There's just so many different designs. And I'm only touching upon a few of the layouts that you can do. Let's stop it again. Let me show you what you can do by just turning this around and having it face the other way. All right, gang, here we are. Like I said, all I did is simply just turn the door around to face the other way. I just want to show you that. And I put a pillar in here just to make it stand out a little more. So... That is just one of many fun ways to do it. And all I have to do, like I said, is just flip the panel over. How cool is that? Let's show another display setup, and uh, we'll just take it from there. All right, guys, here we are. I just wanted to show this off real quick. As you can see, I've tried to make it a really alleyway. Of course, we have the building in the background here for depth and fun stuff like that. But we have four of the panels for the alleyway all set up to try to give it some wall look and have it the Batmobile coming down the aisle if you will it's a little snug in there because that Batmobile is massive but with the right photography and angle you can definitely create a fun shot which I believe should be popping on your screen now there you go I just wanted to show this off because I think this is cool and the potentials there if you have the time and set up for it it's just a load of fun, to say the least. I am going to get ready to wrap this thing up, so bear with me. I'm going to rearrange everything, and we'll take it from there. All right, guys, I am back. I just wanted to show off one last setup that you can do real quick here, and then we'll wrap everything up. As you can see, we have Building A on that side. In the middle, we have a smaller alleyway using the Deranged Alley 2.0 alleyway as a small backdrop and then of course I've built a little facility using the alleyway diorama and along with the building two roof to create something that's pretty fun I think and something unique and I don't know it, it's very cool to say the least that much I could tell you it's not something that I thought I was going to make and while doing this review it popped up in my head so Guys, there you go. This thing is a ton of fun. And if you haven't already figured it out, I'm in love with it. And hopefully you guys will be too. And the only place you can pick it up right now is at extreme-sets.com. And I actually lied right there. Because you can also pick it up at BigBadToyStore.com. I see I already plugged those two right there so you don't have to hear it later. The truth is, guys, it's worth your money. Go pick it up. Check it out. Look at what the amazing people on Instagram are doing with these pop-ups by following the hashtag Extreme Dash Sets. I'm telling you, if you're not sold by the end of this video, go to Instagram and look at those photos because they really are tremendous. But guys, I'm pretty much out of time here. I just want to throw a quick thank you. As always, you know, I appreciate the hard work that everybody does to find this channel and leave me a comment, be it good, bad, or indifferent. It really does mean a lot. I may not get to it right away, but I do see them and I do appreciate it. Guys, 
as I said, also make sure you head over to UndercoverCapes.com for all things geekery in the podcast verse. Comic reviews, TV show reviews, Comic Con reviews, everything under the sun, and so much more over at UndercoverCapes.com. Also, head over to Instagram if you're not looking at these. Look at all the other amazing toy photography pictures. And the best place to see those is at Toy Lover Crew. Guys, slideshow at the end. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Guys, take care. And until next time, great googly moogly.